Me llamo Alex y tengo 10 años. Aunque parezca un niño, ya soy mayor. Soy muy ambicioso y mi vida va a estar llena de aventuras emocionantes. Tengo un montón de soldados en mi cuarto. A algunos les he puesto nombre. Patton, Montgomery, MacArthur, Ryan, Coronel Karts y John Rambo. Antes, cuando era pequeño, quería ser astronauta. Pero ahora ya me he cansado de estar en la luna. Yo soy un hombre de acción, o por lo menos es lo que quiero ser algún día. Pero antes tengo que aprender todo lo necesario de la guerra, porque de mayor quiero ser soldado. Bueno, en la ciudad de Barcelona no todos los días uno tiene la suerte de poder conversar con uno de los grandes de Hollywood, Robert England. ¿Qué tal? Oh. Ah, thank you. Muchas gracias. Bien, en España, bien. Bien, ah, oh, sí. Barcelona, the most beautiful city on earth, I think. Yes. ¿Qué ha representado en su carrera interpretar esta película? Mm. I think this movie really focuses on a very new danger, a phenomenon that is happening, uh, especially for young parents, young couples who work so much now, sometimes in the, in the family, uh, both the father and the mother must work. And along with that, we have, in the last few years, accelerated so much the use of all the new technologies, iPhones, uh, iPads, Blackberries, our laptops, the computer at work, the computer at home, Uh, and as, as this has expanded, this use of technology and this accelerating bombardment of information, I think parents have had much less control over their ability to monitor, to censor what their children are exposed to. Uh, I, I heard recently that on uh, a school playground, on a cell phone, They were able to download images of a decapitation in the Middle East. And I Want to Be a Soldier addresses this new phenomenon. There, there are no rules. There, no one knows the danger or the result of this bombardment of information. And I think Christian Molina is, is, is making a film about what's happening right now. And, and, and perhaps this film should, will warn the parents that there, there is potential danger with this expanding uh, use of, of technology and information. We needed to set some limits, and now? Now he's pissing all over some teacher's shoes. Uh, you say he adores his mother, hmm? Am I correct? He worships her? Okay, then we do it the hard way. It's up to you now. Un avance tecnológico muy grande, pero los seres humanos muy bajos espiritualmente, ¿no? Well, I, I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not sure Christian intends to to support censorship or intends to say that the technology is bad, but just that this is is happening. Um, the spirituality. I think it's just taking different forms now. I think people always will need to fill that hole, uh, that mystery. Uh, but I think people look in different places now for it. Uh, I, I hope they're not trying to find God on a computer. <laughs> he's, that's not where he is. I think he's much more in the heart. He, Después de 70 películas, ¿ha sido difícil preparar ese papel de, de ese psicólogo para entender a esos niños que, que hay que corregir de, de esas adicciones que tienen? No, I, I, uh, I came out of uh, many years wearing the makeup uh, for Nightmare on Elm Street films, as nine films, and uh, for uh, Phantom of the Opera. I did a Stephen King movie in very extensive makeup. And when I was done with uh, Freddy back in 2003, I 
looked in the mirror and I realized that uh, I went into the makeup a young man <laughs> and I came out of the makeup an old man <laughs> and my face was beginning to change and look like uh, a little bit like George C. Scott, the American actor, uh, Trevor Howard, the, 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 the late English actor. And I began to play professionals. Uh, I played professors and I played doctors and I played scientists. So they, Hollywood likes and Europe likes me to play these roles. I think, however, that uh, Robert England, a.k.a. Freddy Krueger, playing a child psychologist, there is a bit of irony there. Perhaps Christian... Uh, Molina has me atoning for my sins against Los Niños. Sí, es, es curioso porque después de ser tan malo como Freddy, personalmente se le ve a un hombre sencillo y lleno de bondad y amante de, de la naturaleza. Who is a lover of Mother Nature? Oh, yes, yes. It's called acting. <laughs> Gracias. ¿Qué es el actor, para terminar? ¿Qué es el actor? I think, for me, it's the love of other people's words. Words that I wish I could manufacture. A, a, a sense of poetry and dialogue that I wish I would ha could have available to me mentally, but I don't, but I recognize it. And uh, so I love having another person's thoughts and words that I respect, that I can deliver in, in, a, in a character. Mm -hmm. But the essence, the essence of, of acting, I think, is very familiar to everybody. It's, if you remember, uh, when, you were, when you're Hoven, Kondo Hoven, and you play, when we play as children, and, and, and whether it's, you know, with little, little cars or with others, the games we play as kids, and that you fall into that, um, that part of your imagination so, so easily. And that's very close to what really good acting is. In America, actors are called players in the programs uh, for, for theater, teatro. And I think that's as, of the real essence. It's, it's playing. You're playing. Like a child. Pues muchas felicidades porque lo mejor que ha conseguido, aparte de ser un gran actor, es que mira los ojos, que toca las manos y que comparte el amor. Ah, muchas gracias. Alex, a la cama. Oh, vamos, no puedo quedarme a ver el final. No, es tarde. ¿Por qué no me compréis una tele? Te damos un voto de confianza. La verás una hora y media al día. Y cuando te digamos que la pagues, tendrás que apagarla. Está bien, papá, de acuerdo. Con tal de tener la tele en mi cuarto. Bien. Mi hijo quiere ser soldado de mayor y personalmente no veo que tiene de malo. Mi hijo es un buen niño. Bueno, quizá lo sea en casa, pero no en el colegio. Tu profesora está harta de ti. ¿Sabes lo que significa? Yo quería comentarle algo. Creo que es importante para Alex. Tiene un amigo imaginario. Estoy viendo mucha escoria por aquí. Envía esa escoria de regreso al infierno. Tiñe la ciudad de rojo, soldado. Eres un asesino. ¡Un asesino! 